Jen and Silb, do you read manga or watch anime? Yes, we love manga and anime. Uh, Hunter x Hunter is one of my favorites. My Hero Academia, One Piece, uh, Death Note, Attack on Titan. Oh, Devilman Cry Devilman Baby. Devilman Baby is one of my favorites. Promise Neverland. That one was weird. Yeah. That one was weird. When I'm watching them, like, there's a, there's a lot of boobs, which is great. And then, like, the ending is, like, what? what i know it's i didn't what? watch devil man cry baby for a while because i was like this is soft and then i watched it and i was like oh my god it was <laughs> hard it's really good if you have kids watch it with them <laughs> <laughs> gray have you seen it no what's the premise of it what's the premise man that's a tough it's, one yeah it's weird it's very weird it's um, it is on netflix yeah. though there's two send me, yeah send me the what's the title again Sorry? Devil Man Cry Baby. There's two boys Devilman. who are friends, and you find out that one of them is a naughty boy. And one's a better boy. And one's a better boy. And that is the vaguest way I can describe it. And their friendship. I think Rob <laughs> Zombie used to play Devil Man Cry Baby behind him while he used to play. Madonna used to really? do that. Too. They would play it during their concerts because the Kinky. imagery is so crazy. Yeah, some stuff happens in that. But yeah, yeah that, it's, I love anime. It's a very I weird show. <laughs> so um, I'm not sure if you saw this and Gray. Um, I'm, I'm I'm not sure if you know who this guy is, but I've seen him on FNT. Oh. Mm. Gary, thing, Gary done now. Oh, so, <laughs> oh wait, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. I think you you mentioned you know, me to him way way before. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. So uh, the thing is, he this comes to us from Twitter, of course, from all places, right over here. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So he, he basically said, um, if you watch anime, you are a pedophile. Oh, that's a pretty, yeah. that's a pretty strong statement. <laughs> you know, things like Black Butler have some mild pedophile undertones. Hizuka. Hizuka, but Hizuka's attracted to power. Gon just happens to have it. And he just happens to be a boy. Yeah. But uh no, I think you're watching hentai. I think that's what you mean. Not anime, it's hentai. <laughs> that I, you're think this, I think this dude's just watching like pedophile shit. Yeah, what like, are you yeah, searching? That's, buddy? that's on him. That's on him. Yeah. So um let's go ahead and see what he has to say. I know uh, a portion of the section is uh, I'm gonna skip through it. He talks about like small noses and stuff like that that these Japanese characters have that he does not like, but he is extremely upset. So uh for, for you guys who have not seen it, let's go ahead and hear what he has to say. Jockey. You know this Zoomer culture thing? Of the, oh, I'm a cute... I just want you to know that if you're into anime, you're a pedophile. To be clear, if you watch those car cartoons, if you read those comics, if your avatar is remotely associated with any kind of Japanese animation, you're a pedophile, you're a pervert, you're infantilized, <clears throat> you're sick and depraved. And I notice you talk a big game. A lot of the wing gnats use anime uh avatars and they're always how i'm a pussy and a cuck and shucking and and they're gonna kick my ass and you're all weak hey, loser you. incel virgin pussy yeah this feels so like radian projection to me sorry i'll yes, shut up he, no, no 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 it's 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 definitely it's because it's he's basically putting a blanket statement for the entire genre or the entire medium itself saying you watch anime and if anime is basically it means cartoon in, in in japanese and yeah. what we consider anime is basically if it's anything that's done in japan that's pre-production so prior to it going into uh production which is uh they're, they're doing animation so like the character designs and the writing scripts and storyboarding so attack on titan there's nothing sexualized about that it maybe no. maybe no. the female titan if you really think about it but other than that it's not sexualized at all not it's extremely really. political I mean, following people but it's not sexy i mean you can jerk off to anything you want but you're making a decision when you're watching attack on titan it's not being served to you yeah <laughs> so yep. uh, yeah it's, it seems like he hasn't seen any yeah it, it, it's sort of like yeah he projecting and i I've noticed that there, there's there's been a lot of people who are online. I'm not saying it, this is true, but I've seen a pattern where the people who are complaining about, you know, pedophilia online, they're saying that how bad they are. And if, if you do yada, 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 you are this. And some, and then like a couple of you know, months or years down the road, they get caught doing the stuff that they're talking about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
He seems like That's a good yeah. candidate for it. I feel like we'll be back a few. Hey guys, let's do a show when he gets caught as a pedophile. We'll be like, hey guys, remember this guy? I don't know why Colonel Sanders is so angry in his suit. <laughs> he needs chicken. Yeah, but uh, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and continue. Pedophile sickos. Because these gestures that come from Japan are the gestures of a child. Okay, now um, this is this is the part where they, they, they played. Um, I, I believe the um, Bloodhound Gangs. Uh, uh, the, the, the you and me, baby, ain't nothing but yeah. So that's a song that plays. But huh. the thing is, maybe I'm not sure if he's considering the shirt that she's wearing, <laughs> anime, because this is turning red from Disney Pixar. So this is the turning red one where uh, it's um your, I it's not that character, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna, he, but during this video right over here when she's dancing, um which I'm going to fast forward right up here. Um, he talks about how he hates how the anime characters are drawn and they hate the pointy noses. And then he talks to his, uh, I think the producer, and they said that they gave Dragon Ball Z a shot and they didn't like it. So let's go and fast forward because this is going to be DMC to hell. All right, let's go and start right over here. I, I just could never do it. Dragon Ball Z was the closest I got and they have thick lines. So I guess maybe yeah. that is my big problem. All, all this, I hate their fucking explosions and the lines and everything. If you want to see the brilliant <laughs> cartoons, this is, a, this is a subject that doesn't go well He hates for me, lines? But people don't yeah, understand that I can yeah. hate superhero comics and not want you to read them, but I can also appreciate graphic novels and the incredible art behind them. That's a very tough sell. I understand. You don't come from where I come from. In Montreal, Bon Dessine, being a oh, cartoonist was no, like being in a band. Like we would meet and make <laughs> oh my another God. strike for our country. I'm sorry. I apologize <laughs> on behalf of Canada. What is this man an expert in, by the way? <laughs> like, is he a is he a studied cinematographer, cinema person? Does he know anything about artwork, or is he just a guy in a pale blue suit? It could be both. Yeah, I I think he's more into politics, but all so all, all I know about this guy, obviously. Yeah. But all I know about this guy is that during FNT, he whipped out a, his tiny pee pee, and then Gary had to sh remove that video down the from stream. YouTube. Yeah, he had to cut this that guy segment. Is an actual human guest on FNT? Man. Yeah. Oh, sometimes there's a few bombs on FNT. Not often, <laughs> but every once in a while. Maybe if he's if he's um a troll or not. Uh, it's it's sort of the same. He sort of falls under the same boat at Matt, as Matt Walsh from uh, the Daily Wire. Yeah, I was gonna saying say, that yeah. if you uh, had that anime and video games are demonic, Aww. right? And you shouldn't you shouldn't play it and stuff like that. Um, whether or not they're you know maybe they haven't played the correct games or watched the correct shows and stuff like that. Um, we we call it like it is. I feel like they're out of touch and they haven't played the stuff that aren't like that. Right. That's why like. Whenever we have uh, people who are like, oh, anime is innate, innately bad. Uh, lollies are bad and stuff like that. For me, I think lolly is is a very gray area for sure. But um, I think overall, they haven't been, um, you know, basically consuming the right content. And they just, you know, yeah. oh, I saw this thing called uh, Poku no Biko. Uh, I, forgot, I, for, I forgot what the anime is, but it's basically, it's literally like hentai with little kids. And it's just like you probably someone showed you this and you're like, oh, everything is bad. So yeah. I think um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to show um show this yeah, to you. Ray, how do you feel about this guy? It's because like Luffy yeah. had these yeah. hot girls throwing themselves at him, and he was always like, Okay, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> there is no yeah. like, he is I don't know what his Google search engine has, but he's definitely been looking for some weird stuff. And Matt Walsh video games, what video games help kids learn how to read? What are you on about? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I read a lot in video games, but uh, Gray, since from from person who who lives in the Philippines and seeing what he's saying, similar to what Matt Watcher saying, how do you feel about it? Yeah, it's the same same feeling I get with these people. Like they don't know what they're talking about. They just saw one thing. They assume everything is uh, the same thing. So it's yeah, someone probably showed them some hentai weird shit with kids on them. Then it just assumes all animes like that. It's the same thing with video games. Like yeah. people. Th yeah, consuming too much of both anime and video games is bad, but I mean, too much of consuming anything is yeah. terrible. That's the thing. It's like we, because we got so much backlash from the Matt Walsh segment when we talked about him, 
But I kept roasting all of them. It's like, oh, you're getting roasted. No, I'm actually, it's opposite. It's just, there's just so many fanboys watching the segment. But yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, these people, I don't know. We just need to keep calling them out and keep, um, you know, roasting them ourselves and articulate it constructively, unlike what they are doing. Like, they just assume things. They just per, um, throw personal insults at you. But if you get with, the, if you isolate them through constructive reasoning, they're going to cave eventually. Or they just run. <laughs> That's what they always do. It's true. You really can't generalize anything. You can't judge a people or an art form by the most extreme versions of it. Yeah. Like you can look at horror movies and be like, oh, well, this was horrifying. And then you can look at like Scream and it's, it's just fluff. You know, basically. Scream is fluff. They eviscerate Drew Barrymore in the first scene and her parents are crying over her dead body. Well, maybe fluff compared to the kind of things I watch. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks. And we'll see you guys next time.